Matt, number 11. And here we go, guys. Marigali on the bottom. Nicholas with that cross collar grip. Kind of loose left leg, Delahiva. His opponent, Joshua Dominic Guerra from Novo Nyao. And, and I think, you know, with uh, the absolute division specifically, all eyes are on Marigali this, this weekend and today especially. Yeah, Nicholas wants to put on the best performance of his career today. He wants all submissions, double gold. So I think people are very anxiously awaiting all of his matches because they want to see him just be Nicholas and really go after the submission. That's what he does. Yeah, Nicholas on his best is, is unstoppable. You know, there's only been a couple guys that have kind of figured out that puzzle on how to defeat him. Uh, and some of those guys are not even competing anymore, so it's really his to win. Uh, I think, you know, him and Eric Muniz are the, the front runners, maybe the favorites for the tournament in the absolute division, but uh, very, very contrast styles. I think Nicholas is, you could almost say he's a polar opposite of what Muniz's style has come to know in the last few years. Nicholas really a submission hunter, likes to put on a show, understands the value of, of you know, being entertaining, but at the same time, not jeopardizing entertainment for, you know, winning and losing. He, he can do both. And it's, that's a very, very rare uh, thing, especially in the sport today. Yeah, Nicholas and Eric come into the open class as the number one and number two seeds, respectively. And they had the final at the open class at the world. So they're pretty familiar with one another. They even faced off in the super heavy final there, too. And they split those matches. Nicholas won the open class. Eric won the super heavy division. Yeah, Nicholas's timing on every single movement and every single grip and position uh, he's making here is just perfect. It's uh, just really shutting down his opponent from any sort of attack now. Now getting that cross collar, cross face. Or sorry, collar around the shoulder, cross face. Look at there the he pass. goes, right to the mount. It's he's beautiful. got that arm isolated. He's going to go for the finish here shortly. And, uh, you know, a big contrast from uh, Nicholas's other key competitions where he was, you know, went back to Brazil, did training at Dream Art, you know, a bunch of other uh, academies for here. He chose to stay in Austin at New Wave Jiu-Jitsu under John Danaher and, you know, even trying to get a lot of the Nogi guys to put on geese just to kind of help him with his training. And he seems really confident. He feels that the training that he had for this competition is uh, sufficient and, um, you know, he feels like he's at his best. So, you know, a confident Marigali is a very, very scary Marigali. So, uh, as you can see, three minutes in, he's mounted. He's got double unders. Uh, if he pulls off an arm bar, you know, from here, I just would not be surprised. It's just Nicholas is... Nicholas wants to go for submission, wants to go to kill. Yeah, he's putting so much pressure on Josh in this position. Got both his elbows above his shoulders. Really uncomfortable for the person on bottom mount here. And there's so much talk about Nicholas's guard game, but I'm, I'm always really impressed when I see him on top. He's so good at putting pressure. He combines his pressure and his movement flawlessly. You can really see here the pressure that he's able to generate when he's in these dominant positions. The setup that he's using right now, there's a, a breakdown on flow grappling. Uh, Marcus Bouchesha shows how to do that. And basically, it's a setup to the arm bar, but it looks like he just smothered him. Yeah, it looks like he got his arms just over his head and just kind of put the pressure down, and there's too much pressure for Josh to take. Yeah, I mean, if we could see a replay, but I, I think it was just a smother joke. I think he just... I couldn't really see if he had a grip on the gi out on the, on the far right side just from the angle we were, but... It may have just been an actual smother choke. First time I've seen that in the gi in a while. But again, you know, something that uh, the guys at New Wave have been uh, cooking up in the lab there in the Joe Danaher, so I'm not surprised. Congratulations, Nicholas Marigali, super dominant and advances to the quarterfinals. This will be taking on Roberto Jimenez. That's going to be exciting. A yeah. ridiculously good match. Let's, let's take a look at the replay. Um, just kind of seeing the, the finish of the sub there. Weren't able to actually see. <laughs> well, let's go rewind that. Press the rewind, Danny. Uh, okay, <laughs> there we so, go. Yeah, I think so. I think what's there's two things that are happening there. I think that um, you know he may have either just been smothering, but also I think there's a ton of shoulder pressure too. That, uh, with both elbows going past the head, 